Uh, my name's Arrow. I go by they, them, theirs pronouns. Um, and so a couple weeks ago I tried to film this um, the day everything happened, but um, I, uh, like, my camera wouldn't record, like, my phone wouldn't record, and so I was unable to. Um, I think I've had a lot more time to process everything, but basically, um, I went in to see my doctor, and, um, she said that she hadn't sent the letter to the government yet, which I need, um, to get approved, so that I can go to a surgeon to get approved to, um, make, like, have a final thing and get a surgery date for my top surgery. Sorry, I'm outside, so there's a lot of noise. Uh, public places are fun to film videos in about vulnerable subjects. Woo! Uh, anyways, but, um, she said that she got, uh, she, she didn't feel comfortable and that liposuction patients, like, people who, um, were really overbeat, were really, were really, like, overweight and obese, um, and it caused them a lot of physical issues when they wanted to go and get liposuction. They had to see specialists and, like, had to go through a process and she felt more comfortable if I went and saw a specialist. And so she wanted to refer to me, refer me to, um, sick kids, uh, in Toronto, um, and, and to their trans youth, um, program. So she said she would do that. Um, the thing is, is I totally get this and I totally respect her right to, um, say that she doesn't feel comfortable, um, approving me and I think she is supportive, but the thing is, is like, I came to see her three months ago and then I was calling every, like, after, after two weeks I called her, she said about four weeks that, you know, it's the regular four weeks for calling, the receptionist said, you know, call in about four weeks after your appointment for a better idea. So I did that and they said, oh, we don't know. So then I went and I called like three times a week for like probably six weeks after that. So eight weeks after, um, I was still calling. So like two months after my initial appointment and every time I called, like they said, oh, we don't have information for you. And then one time one of the receptions apparently said, oh, receptionist said like, oh, uh, I think she sent it. So apparently that happened. And then like, yeah, so I get that she didn't want to approve me and she didn't feel comfortable and I respect that, but she could have told me like three months ago, you know, and I was just really upset and disappointed. Like I didn't really tell her how upset I was I really held it together in the appointment but afterwards I was just so distraught and like I just felt so hopeless and the thing is is like with like with that appointment too like everything with my top surgery was going way better than I expected and everything kept being better than I thought it would be so I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop and for everything to go to shit um and nothing did and so I was waiting for her not to send the letter and her to disapprove me and not to send the letter and um you know uh, the longer time went after our appointment the more I felt like hey maybe this could actually be a thing and the more confident I felt that she actually did send the letter and that she just we just didn't know um for sure and like so and also like we tried to book an appointment but like the office was moving and the phone was weird and there was a lot of issues with booking an appointment too, but just like, I, I was so disappointed and I just felt so shitty about it. Um, and just really freaking sucked. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So, it sucks and just being trans, you, you get used to disappointment because you think things are going to be, like, someone comes out to you and it goes well and, or sorry, you come out to someone and it goes well and then they don't use your pronouns for a while or like your transition is going well people are respecting you but then strangers constantly misgender you and it feels shitty and you feel like you can't make any progress so there's like such a it's so common for a whole bunch of trans experiences to just feel like you can do things and then it's like yes and then you're limited and it's going back to that I just wanted to make a video and talk about what was happening with my top surgery, um, and so yeah, that's that's what happened. 
Um, so it's been two weeks since that appointment with my doctor. Um, and so I've, um, I just need to check in because she said that sick kids would let us know uh, about the program. So I'm going to call her again and hopefully actually get answers this time. And I'm stressed that she won't tell us anything again, but I don't know. I haven't called her yet. So hopefully she said to take about two weeks um, before the program, um, before to contact them to make sure that they talk to the program. Like when sick kids sends an email to probably my mom, um, they'll give her a date of when my appointment will probably be. Um, with them and then I'll go in and they'll assess me and you know maybe there's a bright side to this maybe um, they'll uh, they'll approve me and it'll actually be quicker than when my family doctor approves me because they're more recognized um, maybe quicker for the government to, to approve me as well um, but I don't know sorry my video cut out so I'm just gonna try to make this as quick as possible um, but yeah, so basically, sick kids will send an email to my mom, and then um, I'll go in, and I'm not sure if I want to talk about tea with the people or not, or if that'll screw up my chances of getting top surgery, but I'm not really sure how I feel about starting tea yet, because I really want to, but I, I don't know if I'm ready. Um, so, yeah, so I'll do that, and um, I, I, so I'll, I'll go and have the appointment with sick kids and see if they approve me, um, and see what happens. Um, and... It just, you know, this whole situation brought me back to feeling like nothing will ever change and like I'll never have, uh, feel comfortable in my body and with my gender, um, or gender identity because I'm quite agender, but like, I, I don't know, it's just another setback that brought me back to that, but I think I will get there and I think things will get better. It's just, it's hard right now, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.